Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. It's that time of the month again. It's time for streaming news. Now, there has been a lot going on in the past few months in the streaming world, so let's get straight into it. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. And first up, of course, it's Amazon at it again. And this time they're going to be revealing some new hardware devices on September 20th. We're expecting new Fire TVs, Echoes and more. So this is all going to be announced at Amazon's usual big hardware announcement event in September this year. So Amazon's Head of Devices and Services has announced that this year's device announcement will be held on September 20th. So definitely a date to put in your diary guys. Now in last year's event in September they revealed the new Fire TVs, including the announcement of the 3rd gen Fire TV Cube, the Fire TV Pro Remote, the Fire TV Omni QLED Smart TV and the Echo Show 15 was getting the Fire TV interface. There was also the new Echo and Kindle devices as well as announcements for the new defunct Halo Fitness Liner devices. So guys this year should be no less of an event with hopefully tons of new devices released. Now nothing's been leaked regarding announcements for this year's event but we should see a new Fire TV Stick 4K or even a budget 4K streaming device and there might be an update to the 3rd gen Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Stick Lite. Also in the news is the fact that Fire TVs might soon delete apps to free up your storage space. So it's no secret that Fire TV sticks haven't increased their internal storage in almost a decade. But of course the Fire Stick OS keeps getting bigger and therefore half of the pre-installed apps eat up half of the device's 8GB of space. And it does look like Amazon is working on a solution which is giving users the ability to offload apps that they're not using. So this will give users a more convenient option to free up space on their device without uninstalling an app or shelling out money for a new device. Like the bigger Fire TV Cube with 16GB of memory. Now, app offloading is different than uninstalling an app. Offloading an app will only remove the app and cache data, leaving the user data on the device so you can skip a few extra steps if you choose to reinstall it. Now, the feature will do the work for you by telling you how much storage you will save offloading an app. Now, this feature is similar to how some smartphones notify you of apps you haven't opened in a certain amount of time. Now in other news, the Redbox streaming app is coming to the Fire TVs later this year. So the Redbox streaming app will arrive in the Amazon App Store for Fire TV devices later this year, as spotted by Cordcutter News. Redbox's parent company Chicken Soup, which acquired the DVD Blu-ray rental company turned streaming service last year, announced the new app's release as part of the larger deal with Amazon that will also bring Amazon Interactive Video Ads to Crackle also owned by the same group. Now, in terms of technology, this new ad format is pretty amazing. It's going to allow customers to add products to their Amazon shopping cart directly from the ad break screen. What a time to live in, hey guys? The mind boggles. What will they come up with next to get your money? Now, the ads will make their way up onto the new app, which will be available soon on the Amazon App Store. Now, side note, the Redbox streaming app is already available on Android, Google TV and Roku and Apple TV devices, providing on-demand TV shows and movies for free with ads, or you can rent them or own them. It also offers several free ad-supported live streaming channels. Next up, if you hadn't noticed, the Fire TV's built-in live channel guide has been updated with improved filter options. Now we all know one of the best features of the Fire TVs is the built-in program guide which combines channels from many apps and services into a single list with a button that takes you directly to the guide on all modern Fire TV remotes. But we all know it still can be difficult to find what we're looking for. So of course Amazon being Amazon has come up with a solution. They've recently made changes to help filter through the channel guide. Now these changes are available on select devices and hopefully should be rolled out to more devices soon. Now some of the devices that it's appeared on is the new Panasonic Fire TV Smart TVs and the biggest change made to the Fire TV channel guide is the ability to easily filter through your list of channels. So in the top left hand corner where it's normally just lists the time and all channels is now an interactive filter button. So when you navigate to the button you'll see a new menu of filtering options appear across the top of the channel guide with the first option in the filter menu being recents which of course lists all the channels you recently viewed in chronological order. Next up to that is favourites which as you expect lists all your favourite channels and the next filters I think are the best and they are filters for each of the services that provide channels in the guide. So guys that was your quick bite of streaming news for this month. It's just topics I found interesting and I thought you'd like to hear about. And how about taking a look at some of my other videos which are coming up at the end of the video here. I've got tutorials, how to guides and reviews. 
Now if you did find this video helpful or useful, please do give it a like and do consider subscribing for more great videos coming your way.